Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Game Channel and Farm Simulator 2017. This is our Let's Play series on Drumard Farm and today we are up to episode number 17. So if you could just quickly drop us a like on this video it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So here we are back at the Fent 939 Vario Black Beauty jump into that there. Episode number 17 today. What are we up to? Well, something that we started in the previous series that we didn't actually get finished is the call for today. And what we're going to be doing is some forestry. And we're going to do some real sort of basic stuff today planning out skip past this car yeah what we're going to be doing today is just some planning out and some building work so this is going to be our forestry area down here see we've got a few trees around already which are ideal for us to cut down but just at the end of the road here we have a very handy yard so what we're going to use this yard for is storing equipment etc we'll just shut that off for a minute but we'll stay in this area now what we're going to do is open the shop menu and go across to placeables and what we're going to do is just whiz across I think it's somewhere near the end there it is we're going to put the vehicle shelter in now this only is only going to cost us six thousand pounds which is very handy we're going to put that in over here I'll give us somewhere to store vehicles and logs, etc. So we'll place that in there, I think. Okay, so next up, uh, what else we got? Uh, we want the uh, somewhere to store our wood chips, which we've got. Uh, no, that's just going to be root crops. That's no good to us. So we'll have a cell point for some logs, etc., down here, to make it nice and easy for us. Of which we're going to use the Gens HE700 STA, £72,000. Again, we can use the shelter here. I believe we'd place it in the shelter. No, it's not going to let us actually place it in there. I thought it was. Never mind. So what we'll do is we'll put this uh, somewhere here. Or where should we put it? Bear in mind we're pulling trees directly into this to chuck our logs in. In fact, I think here would probably be a better idea. There we go. We'll place that there and we'll also put in a point for selling wood chips now this is a heating plant so uh, where should we put this one in fact if we uh, If 
to put this one in next to this one. Or should we? Because we want to get access to that, won't we? So we'll leave that one for a moment. And we're going to put in a uh, building down here, work, a work shed if you like. Again, we don't exactly need this, but this will act as a power building if you like. In fact, if we put that one there, we can put the uh, heating plant, this side of it. There we go. Just have a quick look at what we've built. We've got our uh, Gens HE700 uh, wood cell point. We can put our logs directly into there. We built a little workshop that effectively is like a power plant for running these, if you like. And then we've got our heating plant. Just there we'll tip the wood chips directly into here it fills them through burns them up and generates heat which we can transfer back to here and sell it all off and then we've got our vehicle shelter just over here so like i said today is about our planning stage etc what we're going to be up to Put a wood chip pile, etc., over there. Got a good few number of trees around. So what we're going to do next is increase the amount of trees that we've actually got. And to do that, we're going to need to plant some trees. We'll quickly head off to the store with this. Uh, just so that you are aware today, today is going to be quite a short video. And the reason for this is because the Big Bud DLC has arrived and we need to get a video out on that today. Today is going to be quite a short video. So yeah, we'll quickly head to the store. Just back here. Open up the shop menu, down to forestry. Tree planter here. Uh, we are going to purchase this for £26,000. Requires 100 horsepower to run and 10 pound a day in maintenance. And then, of course, we need some tree saplings at 40 pounds, 20 trees. So we'll purchase that. Get our tractor in here, and hitting everything. And there we go. So, oh, just smashed into the bush there. So we'll quickly head back to where our forester is. Just going to plant some more trees around to get them growing. So 
So yeah, in our previous series we planted an entire field up, certainly half of a big field we planted up with trees. We was going to do some wood chips and logging, but we didn't actually get around to it as the series ended. So I think we're going to make the most on this one. Trees done. Just want to plant some trees along this edge here. And driving up the uh, rocks. So we get a turn on. And as you can see, it's planting the trees. Now, trees do take quite a while to grow, so bear that in mind if you're going to plant. Of course you all want to do trees as early as possible given you need to get these planted in the first couple of days of starting. I think they take about six in-game days to get growing. See what we're trying to do is create a bit of a edge to the trees here. We're just going to head down here without crashing, hopefully. There we go. And then we'll put some in along here as well. Of course, we are going to be cutting down a lot of the trees that are already here. If you are cutting trees down, you've got to plant new ones, otherwise it's an unsubstain unsustainable job, if you like. beauty there. That is some tree planting, done some building. Uh, yes yeah, so we've got some storage. We've got a cell point for wood chips now. And we've got a cell point for logs. What this one will do is uh, pull the logs in and it crunches them up and actually sells them. So yeah, that's very handy for us. But, yeah, this is going to be our little yard for uh, our little forestry mission. But yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. Like I say, I know this is quite a short video today. But unfortunately we have got other videos to get done with the Big Bud DLC coming out. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next episode. Bye for now.